Hey yeah, viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist and welcome back to Spyro, it's episode 43 now. So, we're here of course in the Midnight Mountain, cleared out uh, Agent 9's lab last time, uh, as well as obviously finding all the eggs, well not all, but some of the eggs and uh, most of the gems in this immediate area. So, as usual, we're just going to push ahead. Now, I think we only need technically four more eggs uh, before we could basically unlock the door which I assume leads to the Sorceress, and uh, which I assume in turn leads to the end of the game. So, um, we're not far off. We're on the home stretch, ladies and gents. There is technically what appears to be another door up there that needs more eggs, but my guess is, like I said at the end of the last episode, that's probably post-game content, if you, you know, wanted to keep playing after you beat it. Also, Spyro, your, um, your feet seem to be glitching into the bridge there. We're just going to ignore that and pretend like that doesn't happen. Alright, we're going to go to the Crystal Islands. Let's do it. And start clearing some worlds. Now, like I say, we're not necessarily going to try for all the eggs in these locations. We're just going to get what we need. Um, we are going to go to as many of the worlds as possible. Or at least, you know, ideally all of them. Now, that guy has a very peculiar look to him. Right, let's just clear out these first, get those. What the hell is going on in this place? Alright, well, it's an interesting one. Um, six more eggs, 700 gems. Wow. I don't know, I just looked at those and thought, God, I'm getting weird Minecraft vibes. What's going on? Spyro! I wouldn't tell anyone, but we've stolen some magic from the sorceress. We're hiding here whilst we practice using it. Unfortunately, we've had the beat of an accident and turned everything into crystal, and it seems to have aggravated the indigenous creatures. Mario? Is that you? <laughs> How strange. Oh, what are you doing? You weird devil baby. Oh. Can I go in that water? Oh, I can go in the water, because there's gems down there. Oh god, there's an octopus or something in there. Ugh, the hell are you? Good lord. Alright, let me go over here first. Deal with these gits. Well, I got rid of you. Is there anything actually... Is it, is it worth me leaving this area for the moment? Probably not. I should probably actually get everything in here first, because it doesn't look like this actually goes anywhere. What's your deal, buddy? I'm going to get you. Whoa, did he move? Oh, he went over there. The Trixie Devil. Alright. He wants to avoid me, I think, by the looks of it. Hey, come here. Can I get him? Come here. Got ya. There we go. You see, you think you're too quick for me? Oh, look at that little tortoise. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. I kind of do like tortoises. They're a nice animal. They're an interesting animal, in fact. So I apologise for incinerating you alive. Alright. So basically, we're... I feel like we're all once again on the side of the bad guys here. These guys stopped well. These guys came in here, interfered with magic, and then ended up screwing over all the inhabitants of this world. Right. Oh. He just needs a fire blast to be taken out. I thought he was maybe going to require me to charge him or something, but apparently not. Well, this whole world certainly does have a very interesting aesthetic to it. Not going to lie, it looks pretty damn good. Right. Reach the Crystal Tower is the first egg, but we might find some other ones before that. Oh, <laughs> who's this little git up here? Yep, got rid of you. Wizard, something to say? Oh, Jesus. You want to say something to me? Waha! Ha hoo! <laughs> is that Mario? Must definitely have been some inspiration there, eh? Alright, anything in here? Oh, get rid of Hey, what are you? Get out of it, you freaking weird octopus. Octopus creature. Oh. God, look at his weird fucking face that he's got. Let's get rid of them. You see, these octopi are completely innocent, as usual. They've not done anything to actually warrant my aggravation. Or aggravate, or warrant my... Would you like to see I don't know what I'm trying to say. Watch carefully. As you can see, there is nothing up my left sleeve, and nothing up my right sleeve. But now... With a wave of my hands and the magic word, Alakazam! Hmm? Huh. That's a neat little trick, isn't it? Ah, uh, they're moving. This is from a platforming fair, this. God, you know this kind of reminds me of these weird gemstones? Do you remember Croc 2, ladies and gents? I remember playing the demo for Croc 2 as a kid. Croc 2 is a platforming franchise, which I don't think survived the 90s, did it? It was very big in the 90s, but then after that it just sort of died. 
Has there ever been a Croc 2 game beyond the 90s? I don't know. Oh, that's definitely something we can get to. Manny! Show me the goods, Manny! There we are. Do you remember Croc 2? Like I say, I just vaguely remember the demo of it. Or at least playing the demo back in the day. But the thing is, like I say, you know... It'll be amazing if Croc 2 actually... Oh, bollocks, I shouldn't have done that. Well, just go down there. There we are. <laughs> at least we've got the uh, egg, though. Um... But yeah, I just remember like the demo had sort of two particular levels to it. There was like a level set on a tropical island. There was a level set in sort of like a ancient mine or something, from what I remember. It's been a long, long time. It's been years, ladies and gentlemen. So yes, there will be things that I absolutely forgot. You want to see the trick again? Yes, show me. Show me the trick. You know, I think I've um, talked about a similar subject over on my Surya Being Hunted series before platforming franchises that never survived, kind of the 90s. Because the thing is, um, oh god, looks like there's a flight area in this part. Um, yeah, I did a Surya Being Hunted episode quite some time ago where I had watched an Outside Extra video, which was literally about that subject. Old platforming franchises that people maybe don't really remember. And uh, yeah, I talked about that because I sort of was familiar with a couple of those franchises. Do you remember like Earthworm Jim, for instance? Earthworm Jim 3D was like the final one they did back in the day. And uh, it didn't go down too well. It was a bit janky and all that. That's another game that I can remember playing the uh, demo for back when I was a kid. So, uh, yeah. A bit of nostalgia there, ladies and gents. Let me know in the comments. Did you ever play Croc? Or, uh, you know, any of those interesting games back in the day? When you were a child back in the 90s or whenever. Do you remember them? Oh, what are you doing there, mate? Get out. So basically, you've got to hit them quite fast, those guys, before they disappear. Get those. Turn around. Up here. Got you. Seems they always give you a blue gem, those octopi. There we are. Right, go up here. Whoa! Jesus! That's not what I wanted to do. I jumped out of the water and flipped straight off the world. Whoa, Jesus. What's going on with the colour scheme just then? Do you all see that? Very weird. Well, at least it's saved with all of my gems and whatever else, I think. Uh, where am I? Oh, here. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine and dandy. Don't want to go that way. We want to go up this way. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Well, it should have saved everything, shouldn't it? Right, you do your thing. That's it. Jab these guys. Get out of it. Yep. Yeah. And go up here. There we go. Upstairs to this weird area. And you, get out. Oh god, look who it is. I told you money bags would come back. Wanting more cash. Oh yes, what's that, Red? You want to know more about Croc 2? Well, for a generous you know, fee. I happen to be a very talented amateur magician. My specialty is the uh, amazing extending bridge trick. I'd love to show you, but... I'll need a small donation first. For my expenses, you understand. Sure I do. A thousand gems. <laughs> Not again. Okay, fine. <laughs> Very good. Ha, let's see. Hocus Pocus, Ziggledy Zen, make this bridge get long again. Whatever you say, buddy. I'm coming over here. God, look at this weirdo. Mario's weird. That guy better not attack me while I'm in this dialogue. Kill a bear. Kill a bear. I'll try not to kill him while I'm at it. Hey. A, ch a vanishing act, apparently. An achievement for killing off a certain number of enemies or something. Oh my god, look at that freak over there. Look at him. Nope. Here down you go, buddy. Alright, up to fight. Oh, two for the price of one. Nice. Well, not really. What I'm trying to say is, you know, I did a super awesome move where I took two out in quick succession because I am a fucking pro when I actually put my mind to it. Uh, where am I going? Not there. Over here, maybe? Hey. Yeah. Whoa. You firing at me? Well, we're over here, at least. Those plant people don't really seem to do anything, do they? Uh, how do I get across there? That's the question. Hmm. Maybe I need to take these guys down. Yeah. Go to you. No, stop it. Yep, got him. They're flying beavers, aren't they? 
How strange they are. Right, can you do something now? Now that I've killed off. Well, I suppose I could show you my new trick. As long as you promise not to tell the great Zem Yeah, yeah, get on with it. <laughs> Give me a platform over there. That's it. Man, the amount of riches in this place. Alright. Let me take you out first. Hmm. There's stuff going on over there. Chest or something, but come to that probably in a bit. Right, what do you want? Here, you can have this. I was going to use it in a trick, but uh, my magic, it just keeps bouncing off. Lloyd, cheers. Thank you very much. Right, we've got the return home portal. God, what a scamp. Good lord. Right, over here, please. Aha! Special secret hidden portal. Thank you very much. Oh, where the hell are we? Where the hell did we come out? Is this a slidey floor? Yep, it is. Thought so. Oh god, what are we doing? We're sliding, that's what we're doing. Oh, okay, no. God, this is like Alice Manders Returns. All the slidey bits in there. Do you remember that? God, that's a freaking playthrough that I did years ago. Good game, though. Worth a watch. Oh god. Okay, luckily, I got the physics of this figured out. It's fairly smooth, actually. Not too bad. I feel like a lot of platformers have sections like this, don't they? Where you're sliding around. Oh, it's very satisfying when you get a whole line of gems like that. Hell yes. And here. Oh, there's an egg, too. Nice. More stuff over here, too. Nice. Who's this? Eloise? Jesus. Another chunker. Alright, how many have we got here? About three of them? God, we've got 99 eggs. Look at that. See, just one more, and technically we can go through the sorceress's door, which is quite something. So you know what? I don't think we need to stick around in this world, really, much longer. Should we go to another one? Let's do that. We've seen everything we need to see here. Well, probably not. Well, I mean, we haven't actually seen everything you see there, because technically there's three more eggs. But we're not going for 100% completion. Doesn't matter. We're fine. Ah, <sighs> okay, right. So where could we go next? We've done Crystal Islands. Bish bash bosh. Everything, you know, we want to do for the time being in there. Sorted. Uh, where can we go next? Up through... Ooh, no, wait. Should we go to Desert Ruins? See what this one looks like? With this weird ancient Greek hoplite helmet thing? I think it was a gem just to the side of the portal then that I must have missed. At least I thought I saw something sparkling at me. Okay, let's see what the deal is here then. Whoa. Okay. There's some big fucking scorpions. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of an ancient Greek thing going on here. Who the hell are you? Hello, you must be Spyro. I've heard a lot of people talking about all the things you've done for them. Do you think you could help find my girlfriend Tara? She went off to raid the tomb of the stone golem, but I haven't seen her since. I'd go look inside the tomb myself, but, you know, there's all these scorpions. Tara. And she's in a tomb. Is this some sort of reference going on here? <laughs> oh dear. God, look at you. What are you. What's your opinion on furries, strange golfing adventurer? Whoa! Christ, okay, they can do that. Good to know. They can do a ranged attack. What lovely creatures they are. Alright, sure, sure. What have we got? So, six more, obviously. Yeah, we've got to raid the tomb. <laughs> There's definitely a reference going on here. Okay, let's go tomb raiding, ladies and gentlemen. That feels harmful. That acid, whatever it is. Oh, wow, that's a big scorpion, that one. Good lord. Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Do you want... Oh. Okay, you're fine. You're not actually that tough. You were taken out much, much quicker than, uh, you know, I thought. But, let's see now. Oh. Stop. Right. Evidently need a key or something for that one. That's fine. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What we can do is we can do this. There's freaking gems over here. Huh. Got him. What the hell are you? Jesus, weird brazier monster. Woo, hey! Oh, that's how you deal with them. Just charge into him, I guess. Yeah, the scorpions are not too tough. It's these guys who potentially are a bit of an issue. Huh. Right, go, 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 go. Oh, got him just in time before he flipping set the whole place ablaze. There we go. Okay. So I guess, uh, you know... With this being a Tomb Raider reference and all that, are we essentially, uh, you know, destroying priceless antiquities? Is that the crime that we're committing here? You know, destroying someone's ancient heritage or whatever? 
crimes against culture. <laughs> Get out of it, you... Ooh, that's descending. Good lord. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Let me up. Well, that was uh, dangerous, that was. I didn't go too well for me. Need to try and find some life after that. Uh, right. Uh, we're going across there, are we? Got one bunch of weirdos. Look at them. All right, time it. Time to perfection. What? Got him. And now we just need to deal with you and then go across there, I think. Oh! I did not realise they could do that. How lovely of them. Deary me. Oh, bollocks. Oh, bollocks. He's here again. Wait, stop. Get out of it. Huh. Gotta hurry. Huh. Oh. Sorry, what's going on up there? Huh. There uh, must be a way to get up there at some point. Just gotta figure out what it is. Um. Hmm. I suppose if you uh, do a thing on here where you stand on one, does it make the other go up? No, it doesn't. I thought it was like the ones in Alice Madness Returns. If you've watched my playthrough of that game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, there's got to be a... Oh, there's an egg up there, though. Just realised. Hear weird noises in the background. Alright, let's just move on. Alright, do your thing again. That's it. Right, I'm going. Here, I'm going to get you. going to get you, boy. Got him. Right, let's try not to get burnt alive by this motherfucker. Boy, Get out of it. Alright, go over there, or we can go in here. Oh, look who it is. Look who it bloody well is. What are you opening this door? Well, Spyro, I bet you're glad to see me. Not really. It happens that I know the uh, password to open the door to the tomb of the stone golem, but it seems to have slipped my mind for the moment. If you know what I mean. No, I don't want to know what you mean. I don't know what, what you could possibly be angling for at all. Fine. <laughs> Very well then. The password to open the tomb is. Are you ready? Get on with it. Gullible. <sighs> Just open the damn door. <laughs> oh, God, he got me good. He got me good. I'll give him that. He got me well good. I should have known by the fact that there was no keypad or anything by that door. Oh, bollocks. You want me to do this, do you? Yeah. Get out of it. God, that's a nasty one, that is. Alright, we'll take you out in a second. Go, 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 go. Got you. There we are. He's out. There's a big climbing wall up here. Oh, God, but he's got fire. Okay, I see. One. And does it do one at a time? Ah, it looks like it does. Hold on, what's this way first? Oh, what is happening? Oh. oh, hello, it's the Tomb Raider. She literally is dressed like the bloody Lara Croft character. Yes, she is actually Tomb Raider. A Tomb Raider reference. More furry bait for you, ladies and gentlemen. This series is full of it. Alright, hang on. Let me just um, see if I can do this. Oh, careful. Uh, someone not a blaze yet? Yep. 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 Can I just go up? Ooh. What's your deal, buddy? Are you... You doing alright there? You seem to be having a bit of trouble. Oh! God, you were right behind me, were you? Alright, what's going on over here? Stuff over there. Ugh. Where does that come out? Does it come out downstairs or something? There's uh, something over there. Let me just drop down here first. What's the deal? Oh! Oh, where the fuck? Fuck am I now? Is it a swimming section? Look at that mosaic wall. Lovely. Nothing behind me, is there? No. Alright. Manta rays. Oh god, it's Hunter. What is he doing over here? Is he being a bitch? He's going to be like, Oh, Spyro. Huh. Guess what? We're going to go scuba dive him. We're going to go racing all these manta rays. Huh. Because that's exactly how Hunter sounds. Fucking sharks everywhere. Okay. Let me just get the gems first. Thank you very much. Huh. I'll just get as many of them as I can. Just to make up for freaking money bags stealing all my bloody... Freaking tricking me into handing over 800 gems by telling me that the password was freaking gullible. But there wasn't even a password. I bet he was just an asshole. Of course it would be. That would be the answer. Where are you? There you are. Ow. Shit. 
I've been training my new pet manta ray to carry the latest technology. Super high impact underwater missile launchers. What Sounds cool. Try blasting some sharks? Oh hell yes. I'm up for that. No, don't want to say no. I want to say yes. Just watch out for the shark riders. They're carrying the latest JX-5 underwater tracking ammunition. God, sounds like something provided by China or something, good lord. <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go. Once again, Red is here to uh, break some of the laws of maritime war and all that. Presumably. Or conduct some sort of submarine warfare. Red conducts an unrestricted submarine warfare. Is, shall that be the title that we go with? Right, you. Come here. Got you. Oh, look. Like loads of these... Uh, things everywhere. Wow, I've taken out so many of them so quickly. I see you, bitch. Got ya. Nice shooting, comrade. Where'd you learn to aim like that? Oh, by the way, Bianca wanted me to give you this egg. She says she accidentally turned it into a woolly mammoth for five minutes, but it should still be okay. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine, Sadie. They missed a trick there. They could have had that little dragon baby turn out to be furry or something. <laughs> wow, 100 eggs. There we go. Hunter, Nothing else that you want to tell me? You can ride the manta ray around just for fun. Yeah, sure. Will do. Guess we could maybe find some stuff. Gems or whatever. There's still many of them around. Alright, sure. Is there a way for me to get out of this, though, if I get sick of it? Oh, look. Stuff here that we can just take out. There we go. Any more gem boxes? Anything like that? Who knows? Hunter, are you down here? There you are. Alright. Can I get out of this? No. God, the way Spyro was holding onto it like that. How do I get out of there? I don't know. Oh, I just go like that. Nah, we're good. By the way, if you see Bianca around, can you tell her to meet me here? I uh promised I'd give her scuba lessons once the sharks were gone. Really, buddy? Really? Can I see a date? You think she's cute? Well, you know, I won't judge. It's okay, because you're a furry and she's a furry. Well, Jesus, that camera angle, though. Yeah. So there we go. Conducted some more submarine warfare. Unrestricted style. You know, just attacking people. Doing whatever you do and all that. Right, back this way, please. Yeah. Don't need to go upstairs. Just bin that out. All right. What's your deal? Well, well, look at you. Showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the hard work. I've spent all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around, and you just waltz in here expecting <laughs> to claim the treasure. Well, you might as well have it. It's only a lousy egg anyway. Yeah, I'll take it. Wow, it's like Sundaray Furry Lara. Except the name's Tara. Well, you might as well have the egg instead. It's not like I raided the tomb before you or anything. <laughs> Jesus. Well, actually, you just went through that. Oh, God, camera, please. Please be a bit reasonable. Well, we've got a couple more eggs. That's good. Shark shooting and raid the tomb. Crash kangaroo. Oh, some Sheila stuff. Ow! You dick. Oh, git. Good lord. Ooh. Hello, 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 hello. What's down here? Oh. What the hell? Hmm. Curious. Oh, wait, this is a starting area. What am I doing? Ow! Son of a bitch. Pausing that. Oh, what's your deal up there, mate? Hmm. Uh, these guys are all back, apparently. Get out of it. Got ya. So, hang on. Is there anything uh, else? Oh, there's a key up there. Oh, shit! That's not what I wanted to do. Well, I balls that up completely. Never you mind. Good lord. What a friggin terrible move on my part. Alright, well, I think we've seen a fair bit of stuff in here, haven't we? We really don't need to see everything, because we're just on the home stretch, like I say, to the uh, to the final stages of the game. So, we don't need to find all the eggs. We're good. If, you're, if, you, if you want a full 100% completionist playthrough of this game, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure there are channels out there who've done it. You know, and they've probably done it a million times better than I have. Alright, so, what I think we'll do there, ladies and gentlemen... Yeah, there is a freaking gem there. I saw before. Right, what I think we'll do here is wrap this episode up. I think we're done good there. We'll get another couple of worlds done in the next part. And, uh, God, yeah, I think we're in a great position. Facebook will do links down below, along with the links to my propagandist channel for anyone interested in if you enjoyed. A like is, of course, always appreciated. But other than that, I'm signing off now. Goodbye, everybody.
take that. Oh, did I just fucking grenade myself? I think I did, didn't I? Don't God. Fuck. Fuck you. Oh God, I think they take a lot of shots, these things, don't they? Uh oh. Okay. Oh, I don't have freaking pulse ammo. Okay, I killed one of them. God, that thing made a horrible noise. No. God, you have to get back real quick. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Fuck you. Oh, there's another one. Oh, fuck me. I don't have freaking health for this. 